Hey everyone, this is Jason Inger back with the next installment in my How to Build Vassal Modules for Your Board Game series. In this one, we're going to work on how to create what would be the cardboard tiles, the tokens, the chits, whatever you want to call them, the little cardboard pieces you'd have in your game. We're going to create a stack of uh, simple coins. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to have to go add another prototype. Uh, from here that, we've done in the last few videos. So we're going to add, uh, right-click, go to Add Definition. We're going to add one. I'm just going to call it Tile Proto. And we're going to add a few things to that. You should be familiar with these from the previous videos. Uh, the ability to delete, uh, the ability to clone. Same thing where we have the commands there. Or you can right-click or use the keyboard shortcuts with, as with the cubes in the past. Uh, it does not stack. We're going to have the stack of coins, uh, tokens at the beginning of the game. We don't want to, when we pick one up, we don't want them all to move with us. So we're just going to move one. Um, and finally, the marker uh, with the layer token. And so this just means it'll sit on top of the board and the card. So if you would accidentally click a card or put a card down, it wouldn't cover up your, your, your coin there, your token. So we've saved. Now that we've got that, we're going to go to our main board. We're going to right click. We're going to drop down the list, and we're going to go to Add Start Stack. So what this is, this is at the start of the game. It's exactly what it sounds like at the start of the game. It's going to be a stack. So we're going to call that, uh, you know, coins. We're going to tell it it belongs to the main board. Uh, again, if you remember the position, I just put something generic in there, like a 200 by 200, just to put it on the board. And then once we get something in the stack, we use that reposition stack button like we did in the past with the cards. So now you see it's grayed out there, the reposition stack, but once we get something, we're going to right click, we're going to go down to add single piece, all right, and here we've got the basic piece, we're going to add the prototype, we're just going to put in the name like we had before, tile proto, click OK, and now for the basic piece, we're just going to call it a you know, coin, and as we did in the past, we're going to double click on that, come up, we've got this basic single coin image, we're going to pick it, add it, hit OK, close all that down, save it, and again, whenever we add new art, we need to close the module and relaunch it. So we'll do that now so it can compile that art in. Once it loads, of course, the stack's not going to be where we want it. We know that. So we're going to go to it, but now we're going to drop it down. We can reposition it now. And you see it's way up here in the top left corner because we did 200 by 200, 200 pixels to the left and a pixel on the bottom of the top left corner. So we're going to drag it, same thing we did with the cards in the previous video, drag it to get it about where we want it. And if we had a specific spot, we could use the arrow keys to move it up and down just to nudge it a little bit to get exactly where we want it. But pretty much we just want off on the side of the board there. So now that that's done, we'll go ahead and save it. If we launch a game, we'll see, resize this. And we'll see we have, uh, you know, our cards here. The way the game would actually work, you know, as, you, as you're dropping these cards out, it's telling you where you would, uh, these two bottom boxes, where you would be placing cubes, and based on how you bet, you'd pull the coins off. So what we're going to do now, we're going to copy and paste, uh, like we did in the past. Just you can right-click and go to Copy, and then go to the Stack and Paste, or Control-C and Control-V, on a Windows, Command C, Command V on a Mac. We're just going to do that a few times. We're going to add in a handful of coins here, get a stack of coins about five or six. You know, so we have that. So we save. Now we're going to go back and launch a game. You'll see we can pull off coins, you know, these chits, just a stack of them and until we've got all five or six of them off the stack there. So that'll wrap this up. We can close the game there. Thank you again for uh, following along. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.